Good morning. So, quick video uh, today on theory. So, the theory I want to talk about is um, storing and getting keys and how fast that can be. Um, so, I've got a variety of operations on the left here, and we're talking about the existing file store implementation, the existing in memory store implementation. So, we've already mentioned in previous videos that the unordered map we're using for in memory is pretty fast, and we've replaced the default hash with a slower one, but for good reasons. Now, that uh, map for get for gets and uh, to retrieval of a key is O log n complexity and I've been bandying these words around and I thought I'd best explain them. So when you see O and then brackets something, that is what's called big O notation. That's the order of complexity of a particular algorithm. Uh, what this means is is that because of the way the algorithm is constructed, as the number of data items increase, which is the n, as you get more data items, a higher value of n what happens to the speed of the algorithm you know does it stay constant i.e it's o1 complexity because it's you know always the same or does it increase exactly in line with the number of things you got which is n or does it get more complex like n squared and where you tend to find this is if you've got an algorithm that just sets and gets things it tends to be on whereas if you've got an algorithm that sorts things so it's comparing things to every other one of the things and it tends to be n squared. And what we try and do in computer science is choose an algorithm that's a bit more efficient. Try and get n squared down to log n, if possible, or n log n, if not possible. And try and get n down to log n or o1, if we can. Um, so basically here, the fastest is at the top. So um, the get and set operations in unordered map are pretty much uh, o1 on approaching o1 complexity. Um, Whereas in map, rather than unordered map, it's O log N, so it's a bit slower, so that's worth bearing in mind. Um, now, in our algorithms here, because the way we've implemented the file store, we're pretty much O1 in most places, because every um, key is in its own file, so it's really easy to go and find that key. You don't have to search through one file for that key, so it's, it's, it becomes pretty efficient. So here, when we're setting the key, or we're updating the same key with a different value, or we're getting the key, we're O1 complexity, so it's always it's linear. It's always the same, doesn't matter how big the database gets, it's always going to be pretty much the same speed. And now listing all keys, um, because you're listing all keys, it's always going to be ON um, level of complexity. You can make it a bit efficient, but you're not going to get any less than ON because you're returning all keys. Um, where it gets interesting is these last three operations. So please list all keys with a value that contains XYZ depending on how big each key value is, um, that can be quite a complex thing. So it would be O n complexity because it's related to the number of keys. But if the average um, size of each value is very, very big, then that O n is going to look a lot slower uh, because there's a lot more data to go through uh, if you just brute force it. Uh, same here, list all keys where the key matches a pattern. So the key is just a string. It matches books.summaries.star. Now, at the moment, you'd have to list all keys and then compare it against that pattern. Uh, so that's O N. And then finally, this one here. If you wanted to say, well, give me all keys that contain X Y Z value, but they're only in the fiction bucket. So you're, you know, it's a subset of the overall database. It's still O N complexity. So it's still related to the number of things. And this is where people get confused with O N complexity. O N does not give you the formula that gives you the exact speed. It's relative. Okay, so, you know, depending on the algorithm, depending on what you're doing, some uh, order complexity n algorithms for small numbers um, can be worse than some log n um, uh, algorithms, for example. Uh, now, you tend to find this on hashing algorithms for very small inputs. Um, some algorithms are uh, have a bit of overhead so for small inputs it actually looks slower even though the order complexity of the algorithm might be uh, better yeah so you've got to watch out for that just because it's on doesn't mean it's always faster than n squared for every value of n uh, so for every size of the thing you're doing so just watch out for that but in the general case we know that this is going to be faster than this even though they're the same order of complexity because you're only searching a subset okay so they're both on but this ON is going to be faster than this ON, right? And that's what we mean by relative order of complexity. It's not a formula that gives you the speed. It enables you to compare algorithms against each other, okay? 
But uh, these three things here, I think we can do better than ON. You know, there's different ways we can do this. So what I want to do is here, uh, I want to have a think about it. So, you know, can we do better here? Now, I think we can. So what I'm going to do in uh, the following videos is implement some indexing capabilities. So primary and secondary indexes for our key value store. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the custom hashing mechanism that we've talked about before and build up some index files. So we've got these raw key.kv files, the raw values, um, but we're going to create index files now. Um, and we're going to start with the simplest one, which is this bit here, which is just the bucket. So, you know, give me all things in this bucket. Um, and a bucket is just like a, a logical collection of records. So it makes sense to the database user. It doesn't necessarily alter how things are stored on disk. Yeah. Um, but we're going to have an index for bucket. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. But hopefully this has explained uh, ON notation a bit um, so that you'll recognize it when you see it throughout the rest of the videos and gives you an overview of to the kind of things that we're thinking of um, in, in database design here. Thanks for your time.